everyone, in this video we're going to be installing the Jelly Blast version 3 ROM on the Galaxy Y along with that the 3 updates it has so far so first of all download the ROM from the video from the link in the video description you can also find the 3 update files in there so before we begin before we transfer this to the SD card what you need to know is if you are using a custom kernel you need to do this you need to open up the RAM zip file with either WinRAR or 7-zip doesn't really matter once you open it you need to see this boot image file you, you need to delete it close and you are now ready to send the zip file to your SD card if you are on stock kernel don't worry simply send the ROM file to your SD card without the need of deleting anything inside it so once you are done with all that we can begin with the flashing procedure and so after you have completed the first step which was transferring the update files and the the whole ROM file itself the zip file the original one and cocoa mat recovery we are ready to go to the flashing procedure so what we do next is we are going to boot to recovery mode so we power off the phone we then hold the home button the power up button and the volume up at the same time there we go as I said earlier it is, it is advisable, advisable to be on the stock ROM and stock kernel to prevent any problems so in this case I have just flashed my Galaxy Y with Odin with the stock ROM which also flashed for me a stock kernel just to be on the safe side and what we do now is apply update from SD card and this is where we're going to be using the Cocoa Mod Recovery choose that and there we go we are in Cocoa Mod Recovery next before we proceed we are going to wipe data choose yes there we go we are going to wipe cache partition again choose yes that is done as well and next install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and now locate the Jelly Blast uh, zip file and here it is choose that again again choose yes and just wait for it to install I probably forgot to mention, but uh, you also get uh, Kurotsugi's kernel along with this ROM. It's a good kernel. So yeah, it's worth installing. And installation complete. What we do next is we press the back button on our Galaxy Y and we choose the first option which is reboot system now and we are now going to reboot the phone now as usual the first boot takes a while so please be patient just wait a minute or two since we did uh, the all these cache wipes, data wipes and all that just need to be patient for it to build up everything and here we go again you need to wait a little here do not panic and here we are after waiting for a while now the at, at first it's going to ask you which one to use we have a modified uh, default Samsung TouchWiz launcher and you can use the Holo launcher I'm just going to pick the holo launcher for now it 
it's a bit slow because you can see the the mini scanner and all that which is running at the moment so first boot can be a pain just be patient and now before we proceed any further we are going to flash the three update zip files which were released by the developer so again we are going to power off the phone you can see how many options we have now but just power it off and we are going to boot to recovery mode again alright so I just got, got back to Quaker Mode Recovery and I'm going to install zip from SD card you should be familiar with this option now choose zip from SD card and we are going to begin by installing the first update which is 1 then you have 2 and then you have 3 first choose 1 choose yes I advise that you reboot the phone after each uh, update you install just in case so after you have done the first reboot system now then after you are done booting simply reboot back to the Coco Motor Recovery again install the second then reboot again and then install the third and I am going to be back with the final results after the after all the three updates installed and here I am after installing the last update which was the third one so yeah this is the final boot animation which you are going to see in the wallpaper because it went through a few changes upon each of these zip files which have flashed there we go you see the new boot animation android 4.1 jelly bean 3 jelly blast sorry and here we are this is the default lock screen but it can be changed because this ROM has a lot of custom lock screens which you can use now this is something weird which appears on startup I hope you can take a look at it developer and so to begin we're going to do a quick review now of this we see the many options which we have here also when you press restart you get another field with options reboot, hot boot, download, recovery, shutdown so yeah there seems to be these creeds wallpapers here thingy which has a lot of wallpapers which you can try out there are no live wallpapers that come with this in the wallpaper gallery we have the following wallpapers and yeah the status bar won't drag down this is the notification bar here you can see how it can be dragged and let's check out the app drawer comes rooted we still have the YouTube Dolby Mobile Beats Audio we have Beat Manager CPU Spy let's check out a few of the options here in the settings it's, this is how it looks pretty cool we've got settings there's the battery here and here we have walk screen settings status bar mods beats equalizer system app replacer we got CPU settings, CPU states and you can also update uh, this ROM through the phone instead of downloading zip files in case you can't you can just download the zip file let's see what we have in CPU settings 
these are the frequencies which you can choose up this is the max and this is the minimum we got the governor these are the governors and the IO you can check your CPU state so you can see when it was mostly used and all that and yeah that's pretty much it this is how you force this ROM along with all the updates yeah thank you for watching and goodbye